Rivers uh, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode, um, we're gonna frag uh, zoos. Um, this is from my other video. I ended up buying a zoo rock today. Um, really, uh, like a large specimen has three different colors of zoos on there. We have uh, we have red, pink, and yellow. So my goal is I'm gonna take off all three colors. Um, I got five uh, plugs here. Some of the zoos, some of them actually fell off inside the, the revive solution. So those will be easy to frag onto here. And I'm gonna show you my technique that I usually use to frag them that I find it's, the best way is not to bruise your zoo at all. It's the, they grow a lot better that way. So we're gonna glue those up. Always remember to wear your safety glasses and wear uh, latex gloves because of the, like their skin, there's like their, the juice that's on them. You could go blind. I don't know if you've ever seen the other guy there where his eyes are turning yellow and all that stuff. Definitely don't want that problem. Plus if you have gloves, don't touch your eyes, don't touch your mouth, any of that stuff, because they're very poisonous. Um, so let's move on to the doing the frags right now. So what I usually use, I just like using my uh, needle nose pliers and I got some Eco, uh, Ecotech uh, glue sample they sent me out. So let's do this up. I'm gonna get the sample out here ready and we'll go from there. Okay, so my first uh, little specimen I got here, it looks like it's a, a yellow zoo. It's just a small piece you can see right there. So we're gonna glue that onto the plug. It's actually it's pretty good because I'm happy it's still attached to a little bit of its uh, rock. So I like that. It's not gonna be a bruised zoo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of eco glue on the bottom of the zoo, just like this. So I'll show you guys just a little bit of glue there. And we're gonna put some on the on the rock, on the plug here, just a dab. So we're gonna take that, you can see here, and just add that on there. Just try to keep it so the zoo doesn't get glue on it. So there we go. There's some yellow zoo right now, all fragged onto one plug. So we're just gonna let that sit a bit. Your, your coral's starting to get like a slime on it. That's just, it's protecting itself. It's like when the, the tides go out on the oceans, you know what I mean, on the coral reefs. If you ever watch the videos, all the water, uh, it just, it goes away. And then it, just, it, it protects itself with the slime. So it's okay right now as we have the coral plug just sitting here. So let's move on to the next one. So let's grab the full piece specimen out of the solution. So we're gonna pick a different color here. So I'm, I'm looking for a red one right now, something that's easy to frag off. So we'll just pick it out. Um, there's a nice little colony right here. I like where it's on the rock. So what we're gonna do, remember, just keep your eyes safe. You don't wanna get these in your eyes. So I like this colony here and you don't wanna bruise them. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna pick this colony right here. I'm just gonna break it off. I like to use a little bit of the rock as well. So there we go. It just broke off uh, easily. So just gonna take, see that, see that frag? That's easy, so there's no damage, no bruising it. So I'm just gonna put this back in the solution. So it looks like we got some uh, pink zoos right there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, this is a bigger specimen, so I'm hoping gonna pick a little bit bigger frag plug. Put a little glue on the plug. And put some uh, uh, glue right on the rock part of the zoo, not on the zoo itself. So we'll just put a dab on there. Same thing again, we're gonna mount that zoo right there. So now we got two zoos on the plug. You guys can see that. So that's two already, so we got one of each color. So let's do a couple more here. So let's try to pick out another color of zoo. So let's look for a red zoo. So we got our colony here. So let's just look for a simple one. See, like that thing's covered in zoos like crazy. So let's just try to pick another one that's easy to get because you don't want to damage them. and got to get them in my tank. So let's just pick off a couple small ones here. So here's one little colony. So there we go, another specimen. Put these ones back in again. Another color, so I don't want to bruise them. So you want to attach it to a little bit of the rock here. It works the best. Some guys take knives and they cut the zoo right off, but you want to not uh, mess with it too much. So let's put some more uh, glue on here. Put more glue on the specimen. And we'll attach those together. Let that dry. So there we go, another zoo. Looks like we got a red one, guys. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so it's natural. You can leave it out for a bit because it's gonna get the slime on there. It's protecting itself, just like nature. 
So there we go, we got three. The next specimen, I don't even know what color it is, it's all closed up, but this one has no rock, so it's just straight flesh. You can still glue that as well. So I'm just gonna put it right on the middle of this plug. So this is one little, we don't know what color it is, so it's gonna be like a surprise color. So let's just put a little bit on the rock here, just a dab, put a little dab on him. And we're gonna place him right in there. He's got a big, uh, big frag to himself. So that'd be cool. He can populate this one all by himself. So there we go. See that little guy? One little frag all by himself. See him? That'll be cool. It'd be a nice little colony. So we got one more frag plug left, the big one. So let's frag off a big piece. So I had another bigger piece fall off. This piece just actually just broke off. So we'll take off a nice frag piece off of this one and we'll uh, add it to this plug. So let's pick a spot, frag out. Remember to protect your eyes. Safety first, guys, safety first. So there, that looks like a good colony size there, a good size frag, so let's frag that up. So same thing, so I have some rock left on this one as well, so Look at that, it's already grown a new polyp. Look at the size of that polyp. So let's glue this up. We got ourselves a nice big uh, big frag. So let's a little bit more extra glue on this one. Don't be shy on the glue. Put some on both sides, it's like double butter in. There we go. So let's attach that frag, guys. There we go. That's a nice frag. Look at the size of that zoo that's growing off the side. That's a really ha uh, healthy specimen. All right, guys, so we just did five frags just like that. So I'm gonna let these babies heal up in my sump right now. I like to let them heal before I put them in uh, my tank upstairs. So I still have the other ones, uh, the two monoporas we did the other day, two colored monoporas. They're in the sump as well. They're healing up really nice, so I can give my buddy theirs. So. That's how you frag zoos, guys. It's pretty easy. I like just break them off the rock. I don't like uh, taking an X-Acto knife and cutting them. I find you uh, damage them a lot more that way. You bruise them. This way is more natural. They break off. We glue them to a plug. Then they colonize that plug. So it's really good. So there we go. We got five different uh, frags. We got three different colors. It's pretty sweet. All right. So that's how you frag these puppies out. So now I'm going to take this. Uh, the rest of these up in the main, main display. They've been soaking in here. All right. So. I hope you guys uh, really like this video. Hope I explained it well enough to you. If you have any questions, please hit me up. I love your comment, guys. Um, so there you go, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, we'll move on to the next episode. Have a good night, guys. Bye.